Picture yourself in the bustling heart of Jakarta, with thoughts of the tranquil hills of Bandung on your mind. In earlier times, embarking on this journey would have entailed dedicating hours to navigating through traffic and enduring long, seemingly endless stretches of road. Amidst the cacophony of vehicles and the relentless hustle and bustle of the urban landscape, the distance appeared even more formidable. The task at hand was unmistakable, discovering a means to bridge the gap between these two cities. Today, a promising solution looms on the horizon. The Jakarta Bandung High Speed Rail, introduced on October 2, 2023. This expansive rail network goes beyond merely reducing travel duration. Its significance lies in reshaping how Indonesians travel between these significant urban centers. By transforming what used to be a laborious journey into a swift and streamlined commute, the rail system serves as a testament to Indonesia's dedication to advancement. What prompted the inception of this groundbreaking initiative? How will it impact the wider Southeast Asian region? And in what manner will this rail system serve as a catalyst for future innovative developments in the area's infrastructure? The Jakarta Bandung High Speed Rail is not merely a local endeavor. It's intricately linked to a broader vision, China's Belt and Road Initiative. Launched in 2013, this ambitious undertaking seeks to enhance connectivity across Asia, Europe, and Africa, fostering trade, investment, and mutual development. Within the urban landscapes of Southeast Asia, rapid population growth and burgeoning economies have given rise to severe traffic congestion and strained conventional transportation systems. Indonesia, with Jakarta at its core, is no stranger to these challenges. The journey between Jakarta and Bandung, two pivotal economic hubs, has long been notorious for its arduous and time-consuming nature. The high-speed rail project directly addresses this bottleneck, offering not only swifter transportation, but also relieving the strain on overburdened roadways. In doing so, it provides a solution to a pressing issue while nurturing potential economic and social opportunities for the connected regions. At the heart of this rail project's execution in Indonesia is PTKCIC, a formidable consortium. It represents a fusion of strength from both nations, with four of Indonesia's prominent state-owned companies collaborating with China's heavyweight, China Railway International Co. This partnership symbolizes the shared vision and trust between the two countries. In financial terms, the backing is substantial. A 75% loan from the China Development Bank fuels the project, demonstrating China's commitment and confidence in this endeavor. Meanwhile, the remaining 25% is sourced from the consortium's own funds, underscoring shared risk and belief in the rail's future success. Together, these elements emphasize the commitment, cooperation, and grand vision behind this transformative rail project. The engineering and technical aspects of this rail project shine as remarkable achievements in modern design and meticulous planning. The objective? To effectively link Jakarta and Bandung, covering a distance of a 142 kilometers, but not just at any speed. These trains are engineered to reach astonishing speeds of up to 350 km per hour, transforming what used to be a multi-hour journey into a swift and comfortable experience. However, beyond speed, capacity is crucial. Each of these state-of-the-art trains measures 209 meters in length and is designed to accommodate an impressive 600 passengers. The underlying concept is not merely to transport people swiftly, but to do so on a scale that can genuinely revolutionize daily commutes and long-term travel between the cities. Yet, while speed and capacity take the spotlight, safety remains of utmost importance. Given Indonesia's vulnerability to natural disasters such as earthquakes and floods, a design that could withstand nature's unpredictabilities was imperative. Consequently, the rail system is equipped with advanced earthquake and flood responsive systems. This not only ensures the safety of passengers, but also provides peace of mind, knowing that comprehensive precautions are in place. The technical expertise driving this project mirrors a seamless blend of speed, capacity, and safety, all working in harmony to transform intercity travel in Indonesia. Going beyond mere engineering excellence, the rail project distinguishes itself with tailor-made features and designs for the contemporary traveler. First and foremost, it boasts the catchy name, Woosh. This is not just a whimsical moniker. Woosh encapsulates the project's three core values, time-saving, optimal operation, and reliable system. It serves as a constant reminder that this is no ordinary train but a symbol of efficiency and dependability. The emphasis on comfort, especially at such high speeds, 
has not been overlooked. Every design element within the train has been meticulously selected to ensure that passengers not only reach their destination swiftly but also do so in utmost comfort. The seats are ergonomically designed, the interiors create a sense of spaciousness, and the train's smooth glide, despite its speed, allows passengers to relax or work without disruptive jolts. However, the vision for Woosh extends beyond the train's confines. Recognizing the importance of holistic travel, there is a strong focus on integrating the high-speed rail with other modes of transportation. The stations are strategically located to facilitate seamless transfers to local buses, trams, and even airports. The idea is simple, yet profound. Woosh should not be a standalone experience but should seamlessly fit into a traveler's broader journey, ensuring they can move from their homes or offices to distant destinations without unnecessary interruptions or hassles. Incorporating its unique name, traveler-centric design, and integration focus, Hoosh transcends being just another train. It stands as a symbol of modern transportation, reshaping the way we perceive and experience travel. An outstanding feature of this rail project is its dedication to environmental preservation and sustainability. Unlike numerous conventional transportation methods, this high-speed train operates solely on electricity. This choice not only represents a modern approach, but also reflects a deliberate initiative to decrease carbon emissions. By embracing electric power, the rail system significantly reduces the release of CO2 into the atmosphere, especially when considering the potential decline in road traffic and short-haul flights. However, it's not solely about speed and design. It represents a stride toward envisioning transportation through an environmental lens. The project goes beyond connecting two cities. It provides a model for a more sustainable future in transit. The ambitious journey of this project began in 2016 when Indonesia proudly broke ground, aiming for an operational launch in 2019. However, like many pioneering initiatives, it encountered numerous challenges. Acquiring land proved to be a significant hurdle, compounded by crucial environmental considerations that demanded careful attention. Additionally, Indonesia's tropical climate presented its own set of difficulties, necessitating adjustments in construction methods. As the project advanced, unforeseen factors, including the global disruption caused by the COVID-19 pandemic, led to delays. The initially budgeted amount of 66.7 trillion rupiah, 4.3 billion, skyrocketed to an estimated 113 trillion Indonesian rupiah, 7.3 billion dollars. As of Monday, ticket prices had yet to be finalized but PTKCIC's projections hinted at a range between 250,000 rupiah, $16 for standard class, and up to 350,000 rupiah, $22.60 for elite VIP seating. It's important for travelers heading to downtown Bandung to note that an additional feeder train from the Padalarang station is essential, adding an extra 20 minutes and around 50,000 rupiah, $3.20. To put this in perspective, a shuttle bus fare is approximately 77,685 rupiah, roughly $5. The fluctuating pricing, combined with the project's evolution, illustrates the complexity and ambition of Southeast Asia's first high-speed rail endeavor, riding the success wave of the Jakarta-Bandung rail project. The future holds promising expansions. Plans are already underway to extend the high-speed train route, stretching all the way from Bandung to Surabaya. This extension signifies not only a substantial improvement in domestic connectivity, but also opens up a plethora of opportunities for foreign investors. The primary route, poised for development, presents a golden opportunity for the establishment of retail outlets, benefiting both locals and tourists alike. However, the collaboration goes beyond infrastructural development. This partnership with China is expected to facilitate a significant technology transfer positioning Indonesia to potentially manufacture its own high-speed trains domestically in the future. Such a move would not only signify self-sufficiency, but also mark a significant milestone in Indonesia's journey to becoming a key player in the realm of modern transportation. What are your thoughts on Indonesia's bold initiative to transform transportation between Jakarta and Bandung through the high-speed rail? Do you believe this marks a significant shift in Southeast Asia's connectivity? We're keen to hear your opinions so please share them in the comment section below. Thanks for tuning in. If you found this video informative, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, share it with others, and subscribe to our channel. For the latest updates, click on the notification bell icon. Stay tuned for our next video.